today I am at Classic Football Shirts.
two other shirts. So I hope you guys enjoyed my visit to football shirt heaven just as much as I did because I loved it. I mean, I loved it so much that I visited it for a second time, which means, yeah, I really, really liked it. And when I visited it for a second time, they had a lot of different shirts in store. So it's really a reward to go for maybe two times. So go in the beginning of your stay and then at the end, because they changed the stock all the time. And I picked up some very, very nice shirts as well. The second time when I visited it. And starting with my second visit, I got this Port Vale Away shirt from last season, manufactured by Area. I think a brilliant design with the yellow and then the dark lighter slightly darker blue if you guys know what I mean I think a brilliant pattern um, with little area written here in the back as well and they are always tend to fit a bit smaller so I got this one in an XL which fits me like a large which I usually wear so keep that in mind when ordering area shirts they are built very very athletic to put it that way um, right here at the bottom we have the Stratfordshire University Stratfordshire probably not pronouncing that right so sorry for that but uh, yeah I think a brilliant shirt it was 20 pounds which translates to about 23 euros I mean for a shirt branding with text from last season just for 23 euros I think a brilliant deal another item on sale that I picked up my second time I visited it is this Le Le Leeds Another item that was on sale was this Leicester City away shirt from last season. Really like it. Don't like the sponsor on the front, but I do like the sponsor on the sleeves just because they have a very nice dragon. Maybe this is a crypto trading sponsor as well, but at least in terms of aesthetics, it looks better if you guys know what I mean. Um, we have the brilliant checkered pattern going on right here in the color and at the end of the sleeves as well. And I think just the combination of black and I think lime mint green is so, so good. It looks like it could glow in the dark. And I think that is very, very cool. With the same pattern going on right here, no name or number on the back or any sponsor whatsoever. So yeah, I think a very, very cool, clean looking shirt with some very, very nice details. And I mean, just look at it. I think it is brilliant. Now moving on to the items I purchased during my first visit and I picked up this Beerschot third shirt from last season. A lot of sponsors, which I think is a bit typical for Belgian and uh, French football. So a lot of sponsors, but it looks brilliant in my opinion. Lovely dark green shirt with golden details. The only downside is that, you know, uh, the exchange rate between the pound and the euro is a bit difficult to calculate so this was 40 pounds and I thought mm, that's quite expensive but all right but translating that to euros makes this shirt almost 50 euros and I think it was a bit too expensive in my opinion so do I regret the purchase a little bit but I think it's still a brilliant shirt um, and I like it very very much Whoa. No name or number on the back as you guys could see, but uh, yeah, I think a pretty, pretty all right shirt. Um, but for that price, I think too expensive, should have done the calculations though, so that is my mistake. Moving on to the final item I purchased at Classic Football Shirts, and I mean, as soon as I saw this, I know I was going to get it. It is Manchester United's uh, home shirt from the 2006-2007 season with the lovely golden details right here around the crest and around the AIG sponsor as well. We have a little golden lines running all the way from the shoulders down to the bottom of the shirt, which make this shirt look very royal, very powerful, and I like it very, very much. But the best thing is on the back because you guys might know I have some kind of favorite call player. That is, of course, Henrik Larsen, number 17 on the back. The shirt is in great condition, some little plugs, but then again, uh, the shirt is quite old to be honest but yeah i think a brilliant purchase um it was 125 pounds which translates to like 140 euros i did a quick scan online and such a shirt with larson on the back is maybe worth a little bit less but then again classic football shirts are known to be a bit more expensive because they have to pay for the stores for stuff for storage stuff like that um so I, I was in classic football shirts and I was very, very, very careful with, you know, picking up items because I know, you know, certain shirts you can get for like half the price online. And I did not want to purchase things just for the sake of purchasing them because I was a classic football shirt. So I had to, you know, maintain my reason and not purchase anything that was highly overvalued. 
in the end, of course, you're paying a little bit more because it is classic Fulbe shirts for, of course, the obvious reasons uh, with their high cost of, you know, selling the shirts. But I think for 125 pounds, this is quite a great pickup. Uh, and I made myself a little side quest of getting all Henrik Larsson's shirt from his career. So I still need a Feyenoord one, I still need a Barcelona one, I still need a Sweden one. And I'm thinking right now, did he play for any other clubs? I think he did, uh, maybe back in Sweden. So I have to get those shirts as well, but I got myself a Henrik Larsson United shirt, which is of course a very, very, very great addition to my collection. Having said that, we've come to the end of the video and the football shirt hunting in the UK. If you guys liked this series, please, please leave a like and comment down below what you think of my purchases, what you think the best city was that I visited and if you liked the series, of course, and if you're very sad that it ended. But don't worry, I will be doing football shirt huntings, of course, in various different cities. There's one in Groningen coming up and of course, I will visit some new places as well. So if you're curious for that, subscribe to the channel for more football shirt related content. Thank you for watching to this series and to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I wish you had a wonderful day. Thanks for watching once again. See you guys later. Bye bye.